for no reason other than to screw their voters, Senate Republicans continue to vote against the will of their constituents. What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back in with a new video today. It is time to talk about the chaos that is unfolding in the United States Senate because everyone, once again, Senate Republicans in particular, continue to screw you over. They want you to vote for them, but proceed to vote for crap like this. Yeah. The Senate just passed $95 billion worth of aid to Ukraine, Israel, and to counter China. But not giving you a damn dime to help you, not to help homeless veterans, nothing. This money goes to foreign entities for nonsensical reasons. But nope, they can't they can't help you because they have to stop wasteful spending. This is a slap in the face to every Republican voter that donates to them, votes for them, hell, volunteer any of that. It's a slap in the face and a big F you. Now, before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for a dollar a month, you can join Real American. This is the best way to support the daily content that we all know and love. So I hope and recommend you join the channel today. Now let's get right into it because everyone should know what's in this $95 billion bill, this pile of crap. I mean, you thought the original agreement was bad enough when it came to nothing with the border and all of that. Somehow this bill is even worse. Let's just get right into it. The Senate is moving towards a final vote on an emergency spending package that would provide military aid to Ukraine and Israel, replenish U.S. weapons system, and provide food, water, and other humanitarian aid to civilians in Gaza. Yeah, this isn't even freaking the border stuff. It's just aid. The Senate jettisoned from the package a bipartisan effort to boost immigration enforcement at the U.S.-Mexico border after most Republican senators, following the lead of former President Trump, deem the quote-unquote bipartisan proposal inadequate. Again, most bipartisan policy sucks, and that one did. I mean, what did it do? It provided squat to the border. I mean, for like, what, $5 billion? And they, that's what they called the border security package? The rest was for foreign aid. Well, this new proposal, they just abandoned the border stuff. And it brought the price tag of the bill down to about $95 billion. So, they can't even vote on the bare minimum for border security. They can't even do that. But $95 billion, they can spend on God knows what. And we will actually have a detailed breakdown right up here. But these bozos can spend $95 billion of foreign aid. Remember how much it costed for the wall? Remember that? Oh, it's too expensive. It's basically half of what this is. If the Senate approves the emergency spending package in the next week, it would be then up to the Republican-led House to take it up, change it, or let it die. Here's a closer look at the spending breakdown. By the way, Mike Johnson, if you let this crap through, Republicans are losing the House. There, I said it. You want to piss off your voters even more than the Mayorkas failure? This is how. So let's see what's in this brand new package that's going to probably pass the Senate. About $60 billion in the bill would go to supporting Ukraine as it defends itself from the Russian invasion that began nearly two years ago. Yeah. $60 billion. There's nearly $14 billion to allow Ukraine to rearm itself for the purchase of weapons and munitions and another nearly $15 billion for support services such as military training and intelligence sharing. So $29 billion is going towards the weapons, going towards training. Really? 
We are funding the military of Ukraine right now. We are building up their military. But no, we can't fix our roads here. The support also includes non-military assistance. About $8 billion would go to help Ukraine's government continue basic operations with a prohibition on money going towards pensions. Oh, bull crap. You really think they're not just going to direct different funds to those pensions? You're crazy if you think that. I mean, that $8 billion, they're just going to pull some fund from God knows where, use that $8 billion for that, but then put those $8 billion extra dollars into pensions. That was a big problem, remember that? They're just going to get around that and just say, well, we just divert separate funds. And there's about $1.6 billion to help Ukraine's private sector. About a third of the money allocated to supporting Ukraine will actually be spent replenishing the U.S. military with the weapons and equipment that are going to Ukraine. Unfrickin' believable. Remember when this was a conspiracy theory a year ago? To say, hey, we have a big problem when it comes to, you know, not having enough equipment. They were saying, no, no, that's not what's happening. Really? So why do we have to spend $20 billion more dollars replenishing our military? Does no one see a problem with this? When we send, what, $40 billion directly to Ukraine? We're going to spend $20 billion on ourselves, but $40 billion on Ukraine? Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell has repeatedly emphasized that point saying Friday that the money is about rebuilding the arsenal of democracy and demonstrating to our allies and adversaries alike that we're serious about exercising American strength. We're so serious that we have to completely replenish our weapons and equipment because we're out of it. We, we're running out of weapons, we're running out of equipment, but don't worry, everyone, everything's fine. Do you think this is going to... Make people be like, oh, wow, the United States is very serious about this, about exercising American strength. Bullcrap. This is a joke that we have to even, even comprehend this. I mean, this is stupid that we have to spend $20 billion more dollars just to replenish our own weapons. And these same clowns, mind you, will not spend a dime on any of you. There's also about $480 million to help Ukrainians displaced by the war. The only funding that makes any kind of sense. If this was the only part of the bill, just a billion dollars for Ukrainians, like humanitarian aid, I could support it. Because I agree, we should, when it comes to foreign aid, not support other militaries, that's stupid. But support the civilians, the people that are getting displaced by these horrific wars i agree with that but all of this is just what's the point all you're doing is just wanting the war to continue want as many people to die but this part here is like hey we should help the people being affected by the war now this bill also includes quite a bit for the israeli situation about 14.1 billion in the bill would go to support Israel in the U.S. military operations in the region. About $4 billion would go to boost Israel's air defenses, with another $1.2 billion for Iron Beam, a laser weapon system designed to intercept and destroy missiles. There's also about $2.5 billion to support U.S. military operations in the region. Why are we spending more on Israel's military? I mean, don't they have one of the strongest in the region? I'm pretty sure they do. So why do we have to spend even more on that? I mean, why? We have already funded their military to the absolute maximum for the past 50 years. Again, I'm pro-Israel, but that doesn't mean you should support this crap. I mean, $4 billion to boost Israel's air defenses? That's stupid. Israel launched its war against Hamas after the militant group's unprecedented October 7th attack that killed about 1,200 people, mostly civilians in Israel. About 250 others were taken hostage. The legislation also includes $9.2 billion in humanitarian assistance to provide food, water, shelter, medical care to civilians in Gaza and the West Bank, Ukraine, and other caught, others caught in war zones around the world, which I support. This is what people would get behind. And they're, listen, 
it's one thing to say, look, we're going to help uh, Americans, of course, but we should also help people across the world. Help make sure that civilians caught in the war zone and say Gaza, you know, that have no involvement in it, they should probably have access to food. I mean, I think people would be fine with that. But when you start giving billions of dollars to foreign militaries, that's when people are like, no, we don't support that. I mean, why would anyone with a brain support funding other militaries? More than $8 billion in the bill would go to support key uh, partners in the Indo-Pacific and deter aggression by the Chinese government. The bill includes about $1.9 billion to replenish U.S. weapons provided to Taiwan and about $3.3 billion to build more U.S.-made submarines in support of a security partnership with Australia and the United Kingdom. Once again, more money to replenish our military. This is a freaking joke. That the Senate Republicans are pushing this crap. Humanitarian aid, that's one thing. You know, just, okay. Help civilians in, say, Gaza, the West Bank, fine. That's a valid argument. But when you're funding foreign militaries, but then come up with the excuse of, oh, we can't help the homeless veterans because that's too much money. That's when people say, you're full of it. You would much rather fund an endless war in, say, Ukraine, then help your own civilians. Or hell, even the civilians of those countries. Think about that. They want the war to continue, but they want to somehow support the civilians. I mean, these people are so stupid. And the fact that they control the country, that's scary. But either way, let's hope this crap fails. This is a complete and total disgrace. No Republican that's an actual conservative should support this nonsense. It should die in the House. Let's just hope it does. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, smash the like button down below. Subscribe, share with your friends. Hit that little bell. Follow the social media accounts in the description down below. And of course, join the channel today. Thank you so much. Godspeed to all of you.